What is Benford's law? As you can see on the screen, Benford's law, also known as the Newcomb uh, Benford's law, is an observation about the leading digits of the numbers found in real world data sets. It is also known as the first digit law. It is a statistical principle that states that in most of the real world data sets, the leading digit, which is the leftmost non zero digit, is likely to be a small number. So, the leading digits in a naturally occurring real world and Benford compliant data set, the smaller leading digits like 1, 2, 3 are more frequent than the higher digits like 7, 8 or 9. And the leading digits follow a precise uh, and consistent pattern. This is called as the Benford's distribution. This graph displays the logarithmic distribution of leading digits according to Benford's law. As you can see, the probability of number 1 be as being a leading digit occurs 30.1% of the time and the probability of digit 2 occurs 17.6% of the time and so on. On the x-axis, if you see, as the leading digit is increasing, the frequency is decreasing. So, that is one way of uh, remembering uh, the Benford's law. However, there are certain limitations as Benford's law does not apply to every set of numbers. The bank statements and financial data, sales data, those kind of data sets we can conveniently work on uh, whether it, it obeys uh, Benford's law or not, right? However, if the numbers are uh, kind of pre-assigned, right, uh, say uh, instead of naturally occurring, uh, like for example, if you have social security numbers or telephone numbers or zip codes, this uh, we cannot test uh, Bedford's uh, theory on those kind of uh, data sets because there is a um, threshold, right? There's a min and maximum. There is a lower bound and upper bound. Uh, like, for example, GPA or IQ scores. Uh, this will not work. So, uh, to reiterate, the data set should be um, naturally occurring and it should have uh, multiple orders of magnitude and preferably the data should have at least uh, 200 observations. Suppose we have uh, a data set, right? Uh, like we discussed a financial data set or something. Now, if somebody is trying to fudge those numbers, right? Intentionally, they're trying to fabricate, then the distribution will definitely look different. That is what uh, most of the auditors over a period of time, statisticians who worked on Benford's uh, law and tried to apply that theory on several data sets, they found out that Whenever somebody is trying to change uh, those numbers intentionally and the numbers, uh, those uh, distributions would not uh, obey uh, the expected Benford's distribution. But again, uh, as we said, uh, this will be a helpful tool, right? You can do objective investigation.